What's going on guys? My name is James. I'm Tony. We're YouTube Creatives. How to get that beautiful blurry background in your photos, also known as bokeh, up next. All right, James, so if you could just offer up one piece of advice to get that beautiful background, what would it be? My one tip, hands down, would have to be get yourself a lens with a low f-stop number, so anywhere from 2.8 and lower. So by f-stop, you're talking about the aperture and the amount that it's open. The larger the opening, the less depth of field, creating a more blurry background, so that's what you're after here. In case you guys don't know what focal length you have and what f-stop you have, a quick way to find out is actually look at the front of your lens. So for an example, right now I have my Canon 10 to 18 millimeter. And if I look on the front here, we'll show you guys here, it says 10 to 18 millimeters, which is my focal length. And then right next to it, you have your f-stop numbers. So in my case, it says one, 4.5, 4.5 being the lowest f-stop I can get. If you have a variable lens like mine, it's gonna have a number next to it, which is gonna be your next lowest in case you're zoomed in. So in my case, 4.5 for when I'm zoomed all the way out, 5.6 for when I'm zoomed all the way in. But if you guys have a constant f-stop, it's just going to say one number. It'll say the one and then whatever your lowest number you can go to. So in the case of this one, it's going to be 4.5. All right, so other than the low f-stop on your lenses, what would be your next tip to getting those nice blurry backgrounds? My next tip would be if you have a zoom lens, use it and zoom in. Zoom in on your subject. That's going to create a distance from the background. It's going to, it's going to blur that background out for you. In our case, we actually have a Canon L-Series lens, the 24 to 105 here. Um, it is a constant f-stop of four, but that's okay because we have that ability to zoom in and get that really nice depth of field and a nice blurry background. I actually use my Sony 18 to 105 as well. I, I'm able to get some beautiful blur in the background, even in the video, it's just, uh, yeah, just zoom in. Uh, it compresses that background and it's gonna blow it out. You don't necessarily have to use a zoom lens to get a nice depth of field or bokeh. You can actually use a prime lens if you want. Yeah, you just wanna to try to make sure that it's not super wide. You wanna to try to get something that's got a little bit of length to it. So say a 85 millimeter, 50 millimeter will work as well, especially a lot of us are using crop sensors. So that's gonna give you a little more, a little more distance. That kind of leads us into the last point, which you're talking distance. I would say with the distance, you want to get your subject off of the background as far as you can. Yeah, that distance is gonna create a nice depth of field look and you're gonna get the nice blurry background because the background is so far away, nothing's gonna be in focus. Your subject is gonna be completely crisp and in focus and you're gonna have that nice smooth background that you're looking for. All right, that's gonna wrap it up for us today, guys. We really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you wanna see some more like it, let us know in the comments down below. We'll make sure to get it done for you guys. Don't forget to smash that like button, share the video, it helps us out tremendously. Hit that bell notification to stay up to date with us every single week. That's going to wrap it up. My name is James. I'm Tony. We're YouTube Creatives. We'll see you next time.